What's up YouTube? It's your boy Impulse Zane back at you again with another video. And today I'm going to be playing Rainbow Six Siege for you guys. Um I want to do something different. I say that just about every video. But um I want to do something a little bit different cuz I know some people uh well actually a lot of people, a lot of my friends they'll come to me and you know ask me you know well how do you use this character how do you use that character because I'm actually um, really good in this game I know sometimes I'm, I might do bad but you know everybody has their days but anyways that's besides the point um, uh, my friends uh, sometimes ask me you know well how do I use uh, you know for example uh, Thatcher or Montaigne or Glass or Buck you know just just any of the characters that ask you know how do you use them so um i tell them how to use them and everything like that and how they're supposed to be used the correct way because not everybody knows how to use the characters in in this game and some people you know don't know how they're supposed to be used correctly so um i want to help some of you guys out who don't know how to use the characters correctly or you know you want to learn more or maybe a different way on how to use them so the I'm just showing you the way I've learned to use them and you know stuff like that so cuz I literally got really deep into this game cuz I actually like it a lot um and I really got deep into the uh what's the word I can't think of the word right now but I really got deep into this game with the characters and how to use them and everything like that so uh, anyways let's just go ahead and get into the video so the first character uh, that I'm going to start off with is Sledge uh, he's an attacker um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use him how to use his breaching hammer and you know basically just play some games with them and everything like that now uh sledge the loadout i do use with him i'm not gonna go you know too much into this but uh i use the l85 l85a2 sometimes i use the m59 um but on my uh on his thing i always forget what it's called but on his assault rifle on his AR uh, I have the red dot muzzle break you know to re reduce the overall weapon kick of the single shot firing which I think I'm about to change that muzzle break and put on a, a compensator because the compensator reduces the recoil spread over time for rapid firing so you know then this gun is kind of kind of does rapid firing um, and then I run with the vertical grip so on the shotgun I don't really run anything on it uh, I don't have anything special on them right now honestly you know so I don't really have any of these things for him but um, if you don't know sledge is an amazing character to start off with he's a great starter character in my opinion um, he's basically uh, breacher he's a tactical breacher he has a hammer uh, that can breach through any surfaces except reinforcement walls he can't breach through reinforcement walls because obviously they're metal but anything else um, he can break through uh, like uh, some of the walls that are dry wood I think he can break through or anything like that um, but any some of the more some walls are different you know because it's some regular walls that are you know really hard that you can't even punch your hand through or anything like that so anyways let's just get into the video I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use them and you know how you can correctly use them it's not too much into it on how to use them it's not too hard so it's not really difficult at all he's really an easy character to to uh, learn how to use now I do have a uh, major almost all the characters only character I don't have is the new operator and that's vigil so 
um, other than that, I do have all the characters. I am going to work on getting him, though, for you guys, because I know some of you guys may want to, you know, learn how to use them or know how to use them or whatever like that. So, go ahead and get my boy Sledge. I think I'm going to change. I want to change this this uh, camo. I'm going to throw on the... I'm going to throw on the... Uh, for you guys, I'll throw on the blue. I'll throw on the blue for you guys. Got that P226. That SMG is, is alright too. I run the frag though. Because that helps. The frag also helps too to break through walls and everything like that also. So you need to locate the biohazard container. Let's go ahead and see if we can find these guys. Also, if um any of you guys play this game and um, you have a favorite character, you know, let me know what your favorite character is or who your favorite character is well down done. in the comment section Biohazard below because, you know, I really like to know what you guys' favorite character is and why you like them and, um, you know, just give me some, some, your opinions or your ways or your tips on how you use Ten them, you know. Maybe you use them a different way, or even if you Five see me using a character completion. that you may use the wrong way, or you may have Biohazard more tips for me to do better with them, or whatever like that, or just you know some some uh, where it is, but some uh, constructive criticism. Just let me know, you know. So I'm scared to let me know, or whatever like that. But just be free to comment and tell me what you guys think, you know. Make sure you shoot these cameras out, by the way, too, because sometimes those can be a real giveaway of where your position is. See, like this wall right here, you can break through it. Be careful with that, though, because sometimes, you know, breaking through the stuff with the hammer can, you know, can. No, oh, there's another camera right there. Breaking through stuff with the hammer, someone may be behind the wall, and it does take a little bit of time. It's like it's a little delay with the. The hammer trying to put it away. So. Make sure you check these corners. Be real careful around here. Camera right here, yep. Try to pop out as many cameras as you can when you see them. See, so like right there is about the cam. I just popped that, so. I'm gonna run me a drone under here. I'm gonna drone. Wait, do I have another one? Yes, I do. I'm gonna drone this, this little area out. See? Who's right here? What's right here? I want to see if I could get that guy through the door because he may have been right there. But since I missed and he was right there, what can I do? We're gonna go this way. Hostile activity neutralized. Stop securing the container. Reinforce this? Yep, they sure did. They were smart about that. They were smart about that. I would have done the same thing. Alrighty. So, let's see, you guys. Let's try this. Because these guys actually know what they're doing. So, let's see. I missed that guy. Beast securing the container. Just all right. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here, guys. So, well, this is what we're gonna do. Stance. He's right there. Alrighty. Just wanted to see. See what I can do right there. See if I can lure that guy out. Oh, hold on. Wait. There's a camera right there. You see those Valkyrie cameras or any cam? 
I think we try to, you know, break those or whatever we can. There's another one right here to my right. I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but... It's Valkyrie. Oh yeah, guys, so... That was a clean kill. That was a clean round. That was pretty good. Did pretty good with your boy Sledge that, that round. So, like I said, Sledge is a really, really easy character to learn how to use. Now for any of you guys who are looking for a more in-depth uh, in depth tutorial for, wow that was a horrible lag, but if any of you guys are looking for a more in-depth tutorial on how to use um, smoke, then I will eventually you know, do that for you guys because I want to give you guys you know, how to's on just about all these characters. So, yes, I see these three guys, but I don't have correct weapon to use to get them. But I'm thinking about just going out and he saw me. That's why I moved. Alright, so now I know that they're on this side. So what I'm going to try to do is... I don't want to try that. I'm going to try to see if I can... I can do something real quick, work a little magic, so you guys. Nest ready. Nest in position. We'll wait here a bit. See if someone's gonna jump in. Yet sometimes you want to wait it out. Let's see if anyone's gonna jump in. I think someone's on top of me, but I'm not sure. That's what it sounds like. Just got that person. Make sure no one else is out here before I go running. Now I've already used I think two of my. Uh, smoke things that, that he has so I gotta kind of be smart with the rest One on four remaining. dang it I was trying to figure out where that grenade was guys that was my fault I was an idiot for that I thought it was in front of me but then uh, I, I just just messed up right there that was me being a being an idiot but it's all good so we doing pretty good this game Doing pretty good. I got two good kills in that round. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hopefully the team can uh, finish it off. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's, that was nice. That was real nice. That was real nice. So guys, now we're gonna go back to uh, using sledge. I don't want to really use, you know, any other attacker in this um, video because I'm kind of base is basically based on Sledge, not anyone else. So I'm kind of, you know, focused on just him. 
you know, when you know, I use the defenders, I don't really have a choice because obviously, you know, Sledge isn't isn't a defender; he's only an attacker. So. You need to locate but the biohazard only, container. Uh, only reason I won't use Sledge is if someone chooses him, and then you know I don't have a choice. But found him already. But start of a good round already. So good round. See if I can tag all of them. Nice the who everyone is. Oh, got everyone. Just in time. That's good right there. That's good. Move real quick. Now, another thing, guys, that you don't want to do, you don't want to sit there and spam the, uh, the, uh, tag, the scan button, because then after a while, if your drone is out, or, you know, even if it's not out, uh, the enemies can still see where their drone is because when you scan someone or multiple people, it on the drone it, it pulls up red. The light um, turns red, so you know they can see that. He's right there, got Castle already because he was camping right there and thought that didn't think that anyone was gonna get him sitting right there camping so just be mindful of how you use characters and the way you use them so again sledge is a really easy character to use and his his hammer his breaching hammer is uh unlimited you don't have a certain time to use it or anything like that or amount of time or you know, so you can use it as many times as you like, as many times as you want. I don't want to just jump down here because, you know, let's everyone know where I'm at. So, be careful with this. I do. That I do. But I, I know someone's over here. There he is right there. Out. Ooh, that was a teammate. Just ran. I think I'm. I want to jump down there and get him, but then again, I don't want to be an idiot, so I try to be smart with this one. All right, so I just heard Doc use one of his stem pistols, so obviously he just gave Jaeger, not Jaeger, but Bandit, some health. But um, see, there he is, right there. One of them is right there. I know that. Oh shoot! Activity neutralize the threat. Whatever, I'm gonna just run it out. Securing the container. Resume the room. Protect Got the bio container. Op four last operator standing. Securing the container one. Oh yeah, that was an amazing round. This is a great game, you guys. So like I said, Sledge is a really simple, easy character to use. That breach and hammer is amazing. Only time it's not is when you have reinforcement walls, but other than that, you can use it unlimited times. Uh, his gun is also amazing and he's just a really good character so other than that you guys I just wanted to show y'all you know a quick how to on how to use him uh, the next character I will be doing just so you know for the next episode coming up the next character I will be going in depth to is uh, smoke I'll be going into smoke so, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.